Hi guys, this is Cynthia with Loopy Crochet with another tutorial for you and this one is on how you can make pom-poms. So here's one that I'm going to show you to make. Um, it's just in one single color but maybe you want to get a little more creative and add multiple colors so I will teach you how to make this one also with two colors. Um, so let's get started with the tutorial. First I'm going to start off with the one color pom-pom okay so all you have to do is leave a little bit hanging here and just start wrapping around your fingers I like to keep my fingers a little open because then it'll be easier to pull out <laughs> the yarn once you're finished wrapping so just wrap around your fingers and in order to get a good pom-pom you might want to wrap at least a hundred times to get a decent sized pom-pom. So I'm just going to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. It's not a hundred yet. Just wrap. Wrap, 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 wrap. All right, I think I'm going to stop here. All I'm going to do is cut off the excess here. Okay, I'm going to pull it out. You see, there it is right there. And I'm going to lay it flat here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a generous length of yarn. Mine's about that long. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put it down this way. I'm going to put, see, just wrap these underneath. It's not a big deal. Put the yarn here like this. And then I'm going to tie a knot here. And remember to tie very tightly. You just want to do something light. It has to be really tight. As tight as you can get it. Okay? And now we want to make a knot. Remember to hold tight. Otherwise your pom-pom will fall apart. So I'm going to make a knot. Usually I make two knots just to make sure that it is secure. Okay? There's one. And I'm going to make the other knot. There. Seems to be pretty tight. Okay. So now you have two strands here and I'm going to hold on to it like this. And now you see you have these little puffs here. Well, it's time to cut them to make your little puffs. So I'm going to start with this side and all you have to do, I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys, is cut and cut and cut all these loops. Okay? Try not to miss any. Okay? And then we go to the other side and you want to do the exact same thing, okay? All right, so now you're thinking, what a mess, what is this? Well, we're not finished just yet. Okay, you have to trim it now. You have to give this little pom-pom a haircut. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get my scissors and you just kind of play around with it um, and give it a nice generous haircut. Sometimes I tend to just grab it like this and I will trim 
like this. Okay, you can do that, or you can just eyeball it and just start trimming until you get a nice little circle. And a nice little sphere. And just keep trimming until you get what you want or as close to what you want as possible. This takes practice, believe me. Okay. Shake it up. Trimming. All right. Okay. So I know this is not the best haircut, but I'm trying to do it quickly. But here is your pom pom. Okay. But now maybe you think this is too boring. I want to get a little more creative, do something different. So now I'm going to teach you how to incorporate another color to your pom-pom. So I'm going to put this to the side and now I'm going to get a blue and a white yarn. Move this stuff over. Okay. Same thing. Start wrapping. Okay. Leave a little amount and just start to wrap the yarn, both strands, okay? Oops, I don't want that tangled. Okay, so just wrap and wrap and wrap around and around, okay? So just wrap and keep going until you are satisfied. This should be about a hundred rounds, okay? So just eyeball it until it's as thick as you need it to be. A little more. See, mine's already slipping out. Get in there. Okay. I think I'm going to finish up right about here. All right, I'm going to trim these, okay? Now you can use uh, the yarn of both colors again in order to tie around or you can just use one. So I'm just going to use the blue one in this case. I'm going to cut a generous piece again, lay it here. Lay the yarn like this and tie tightly, as tight as you can possibly get it, okay? Tight, really tight, okay? And then you want to knot it. Okay. Oops. It's really hard to do it with one hand. Okay and then knot it again. So once more. There. Now we're gonna hold it like this again. And we can cut those excess pieces out. And now we're gonna start cutting again. Okay, so here we go. Start with one side and cut through all these loops. Okay, 
when you think you've got them all, next go to the other side and do the same thing. Cut through all of these loops. All right, so now it's gonna look like this. And again, you just wanna fluff it out. And now we're gonna give it a haircut too. So just trim along the sides again. I'm gonna make this one a little quicker. I'm just not gonna turn out perfect, but just so you guys can see. I'm just going to trim it this much, but it's just to show you what it looks like in various colors. Isn't this cute? So now you know how to make a pom-pom, not only in single color, but you can make it in multiple colors also. And again, the trimming part is going to take some practice, but you can do it. And then with this excess portion right here, you can sew it on um, to a hat. You can put it on any sort of project that you're making. If you make them smaller, you can put them on a scarf as a decoration, on a sweater, whatever you'd like. Just be very creative with it. So this is how you make your pom-poms. And again, this is the final look. Here are, oh, this one got all crazy. There we go. Your pom-poms, okay? Again, trim them up nice, not like me. Trim them up nicely so you can get them all nice and pretty, okay? So let me know in the comments below how are you going to use your pom-poms because I usually make mine for hats. But let me know what other ways you will use your pom-poms. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and I will see you next time. Bye!